It is that time again. Thank you for joining me to pick up tips on how you can turn your career off of autopilot and get on your way to monetizing your brilliance. My name is Maria Destour, and today we are going to talk about how to turn those setbacks into comebacks and grow your resilience in the face of challenge. Because let's face it, if you are stepping up and saying, I am ready to make a big move in my career, you have to understand that you're signing up for this, that it's going to be hard. It is going to be uncomfortable. Navigating a career pivot is one giant step into your uncomfort zone. Uncomfort zone? Yeah, that means you're getting off of autopilot and you're trying something new. And when you take a giant step into the unknown, you do your best to control the variables, you do the research, you know, you try to make it as safe as possible, but it's never going to be safe and it's never going to be easy. And there's going to be tons of days when you're just feeling uncomfortable and it's hard. And then there's those days when you're going to flat, splat, fall on your face. Career pivots are a roller coaster of excitement, right? Because you're excited about where you're going. There's anxiety, there's stress. Let's not forget the rejection. Ugh. And then that self-doubt that just comes in your head. And it isn't uncommon to feel isolated and lonely, especially if you've removed yourself from your previous career, whatever that was, or if you're coming back from a gap, you might be seeking that adult interaction. And because you are shifting, there is a loss of identity and purpose at times. You might just be unsure why am I doing this? What? <laughs> you might be halfway into it and just maybe want to go crawling back to what's safe. But no, I'm going to share some tips to help you build your resilience and get you on your way faster. Because you know that your comfort zone is the place where your dreams go to die and you are not having it. Here are some things. The most important, identify a support structure before you start. It might be family. It might be friends. It might be a mentor. It might be surrounding yourself by people who are doing similar things in a networking group. People are very friendly and they want to help. Also build up some support such as like, an app that you can use for your mental fitness side and figure out how you're gonna move your body because there are gonna be days where you're just gonna have no energy and you're just gonna be sad, but you're gonna go and move your body and it's gonna help. Okay. As your search or your pivot or your launching of your business progresses, keep up with that network Cultivate these friendships because they're going to help you celebrate your small wins and you're going to be able to share your frustrations and so you'll be able to support others who are behind you a little bit in conquering their pain points and frustrations and it's going to make you feel so much better. Also, don't skip on that self-care and stress management. Train your brain to look at the gift in every setback. Wait, what? There's a gift? Yes. Right now, take a moment to think about a major setback you had when you were doing something else in the past. Now that you have time and space and you can look at it from up here, can you see the gifts in that air quotes failure? I do not like that word. And that setback, if you are interested in exploring this idea further, then you're not going to want to miss my session next week at 9 a.m. Mountain. We're going to host a panel discussion with four people, and we're going to talk about how you can completely shift your mindset around the idea of conflict and barriers 
and failure that will enable you to recover faster and propel yourself faster forward towards this thing. So mark your calendar. Always remember to prioritize physical and mental well-being. Put that time blocks in. Build up your energy stores because we know there's going to be some point in your day where you're going to receive a rejection or you're going to get lost in your path where you're just going to feel like, what am I doing? This is so hard. I don't know if I can keep moving forward. So in the morning, you need to make sure that you build up your energy stores for the day so that you can have a productive day. And then if you're experiencing these feelings throughout the day, have some sort of ideas for activities you can do that, you know, lift yourself up. That might be putting on music and dancing. That might be going playing with your animals. That might be going outside, whatever it is, put, talk to someone on the phone, have some ideas because in the moment when you're not feeling well and you're feeling down on yourself, it's hard to make good decisions. Always schedule your fun. When you are in the moment and the grit and determination of navigating a career pivot, sometimes we forget to schedule fun. So go ahead, do it now, put it in your calendar. Learn to see the spirals before they get really bad. There are signs earlier, you're having trouble focusing, you're feeling a little down. That's the time to go and do these other things, not after the point where you're under your desk crying. Plan ahead, do it. I hope that you enjoyed this content and know that next week, I'm gonna go way deeper with a panel of four people to teach you how to build your resilience. And we're having a session called Positive Intelligence, for strategic success. Mastering the balance in three steps. That's right, three steps, you can do it. We're also gonna demonstrate how you can make time to build your mental fitness, no matter how busy you are. Don't miss it. So I'll see you next week. Bye.